namaste it's good morning good morning my friends and today guys we are starting out another video here in the beautiful country of nepal and we are actually going to be cruising all the way over to the name of it is called Budhana Stupa. So it's about a one hour and 18 minute walk, which I love walking anyways to get to know a city. And I'm hungry and I'm looking for a little coffee. So figured we'll uh, go for the walking cruise all the way over there, take you guys with us and we'll see where we end up. Not entirely certain um, what exactly we'll come across. Maybe we'll come across a place to get some sunglasses. Maybe we'll come across uh, some locations to get something delicious to start the day off. Not entirely certain yet at this point, guys, but we're gonna go on the adventure and see what happens. But number one thing on the list right now is finding some coffee. Yeah, so it's actually my first like full morning here. It's much quieter in this area in the morning. Just a few bikes on the roads at this time. And uh, it seems like in this area, there's a lot of Western tourists as you've probably seen walking by. Obviously Nepal's uh, pretty well known for its tourism industry here. But um, yeah, we're going to uh, see where this brings us to. Honestly, what I could go for right now is one of those uh, like street egg uh, rolls right now. I saw one last night right before I went to bed. I actually wasn't filming. And I was like, geez, that looks so, so good for the morning. But uh, so far, none of them on the street at this hour. Namaste. Guys, the nice part is, it's actually hot enough where I can take off my uh, sweater here. So we'll go on straight uh, with the tour with just the shirt on. Oh, that is much, much better. So next on the list here, we got to locate ourselves a nice delicious cup of coffee. Hello, my friend. Namaste. Shuba bai bani. All right. Well, it seems like we're at the uh, local taxi stands here. Everyone's getting picked up. This must be a common hangout spot. Oh yeah, we might have located ourselves a little coffee shop. Shuba Bai Bani. Namaste. Namaste. Do you have uh, coffees here? Coffee? Yeah. Coffee, yes. Yeah, coffee? Black. Uh, just a black coffee, please. Black coffee. And then what else do you have for uh, food? Do you have those uh, egg rolls? Egg yeah. rolls, yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. Which one's that one? The chicken and egg roll is a good one, you think? Yes. Yeah, nice. One chicken. Plus uh, egg roll. Yes, please. That's your best one. This one, coffee black. Uh, coffee black, yeah. What's your good name? What's your good name? Sandre Malan. Sandre Malan. Yeah, nice to meet you. So we're gonna have a, a nice, delicious black coffee here and. Uh, an egg roll, that'll do. Chicken plus egg, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, chicken plus egg, please. Oh yeah, we're getting the uh, custom-made uh, coffees right back here. Looks very good, my friend. So it looks like they've got all... Oh, they've even got Red Bulls up there. Honestly, I could go for one of those right now. And a bunch of sweets right here. We got chickens, brownies, nice big old brownie too. Donuts even. These are like twice the size of a normal donut. I don't know if you can tell, but those are like, I mean, I don't even know if I could hold that whole thing in my hand. And then big croissants. Very nice pastries. So we're seeing the process of the black coffee being made. You guys are from Kathmandu? From Kathmandu? No, no. No, no. where are you from? I'm from Dolokha. Ah, nice city to visit? Next. A good city to visit? Yeah. Yeah? Ah, hope to visit then. And your name? Your good name? Mahendra. Mahendra? Nice to meet you, Mahendra. Oh, so that's the fresh coffee right there. Where from? I'm from the United States. United States? Yeah. I'm in uh, Nepal for uh, 14 days. 14 days? 14 days, yeah. Visiting uh, Kathmandu, Pokhara. Pokhara's, Pokhara's good? Pokhara is good. Uh, Pokhara. Pokhara. City is good. Hope so. Mm. Uh. Yeah, let's say we can get all types of things here. Sandwiches, burgers, corn dogs, chow mein, veg snacks. I've got the whole menu in English. Makes it nice and easy then. 
We've even got the lassies there. We might have to try one of those out in a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yep. Hey, namaste, bye. Hey, how are you? Fine, are you? This is your shop? No. No. Your coffee here. Oh, thank you, brother. Sit down. Oh, thank you very much. Coffee. Oh, perfect. Oh. Fantastic. We got a nice hot black coffee right there. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. What is your phone uh, I'm from United States. United States. You're from Kathmandu? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's a very nice city. <laughs> good people here. Uh, what did you get to eat? The egg rolls? Egg rolls good? Uh, the egg roll is good. Chicken egg rolls nice. No? No, no I already... Non-veg. Uh, or veg. Already eating uh, rice. Oh, rice. Oh, okay. Yeah, very nice. Enjoy. Oh, we got that coffee. That thing is fresh off the kettle. Let's try that thing out. Mm. Oh, that's nice, but it burns the tongue. Ho, ho, ho. I'm going to feel that one for the next 12 hours. Fresh off the kettle, nice and thick. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> oh, it's smelling good back there. Can I come? Can I come? Yeah? Oh, so this is where it's happening? Ho oh, oh. ho. And it's smelling delicious right there. That's an egg roll right there. I'll toss chicken the plus chicken. egg roll. Oh, yum, yum. Dani Avad Bai. That looks fantastic. So we're tossing the chicken right up on top of there. Mixing it right in. Oh, it's flying right up. Oh, oh yeah. Uh -huh. They go together like a match made in heaven. Ooh, and then we're even looks like we're getting some fresh veggies in there too. Oh, Donny Vod. But how much, boy? Chicken egg roll? Two fifty. Two fifty. Is that the coffee? How much is the coffee? Thirty. Thirty. Okay, very nice price then. So that's gonna come out to uh, two eighty, guys, for breakfast today. And two eighty is. 280 is $2.14, so nice price here for a delicious meal. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Oh, money ready. Coffee and chicken. That's for you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Touch it. Eat it. I touch. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, and then I put this back. I hold this. What do I do with these? What? Do I put these on here? No, no, no. Eat? Yeah, yeah. On my head. Ah, oh, like that. I put them up right like that, yeah? And I, they, keep, they stay there? Ah. Thank you, my friend. Just that's good. Thank you very much. Oh, the meal has arrived. The meal has arrived. Daniovad bai. This looks fantastic. So we've got a delicious looking roll right here, guys. That looks fantastic. As you guys can see, look at that thing. This is gonna be my first egg roll here. Loaded up and delicious. So just the egg roll on its own is like $1.80. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. So let's go ahead. Set this thing up right like that. Let's try this one out. Thank you, brother. I just bought one uh, from him. Down here, bud. Oh, wow. That is delicious, guys. This bread on the outside is like, almost tastes like a fried bread. You got vegetables in there. You've got chicken and the egg all mixed in there with onions and tomatoes. Mm. It reminds me of like a like a Nepalese breakfast burrito. Yum. And you guys know if you've seen me in a lot of my videos in other countries where I get similar things, anything that's like a burrito, it's almost a guarantee I'm gonna love. Mm-mm. -mm. Very good buy. Tasty. Tastes good? Mm-hmm. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And it's big, guys. Look at this thing. I've already eaten one quarter of it. It's probably almost a foot long, 30 centimeters. Mmm. This is exactly what I pictured for breakfast. Like I said, I saw one of these when I was walking down the road. A guy was making one on a street stall. And I was like, that looks fantastic. But I had just eaten a bunch of momos. And uh, now that I'm having this, this is kind of like a breakfast slash lunch because it's like noon. And oh my gosh, it's incredible. I think some other vegetables in there as well. We have those like, uh, I wanna say maybe there's green peppers in there. I might be wrong on that. It's got a slight spice to it. More like an aftertaste spice. And I wanna say it's because of the chicken. Because the chicken's got an orange look to it. Maybe some chili flakes in there as well. I noticed uh, at least with like uh, my one other meal I've had so far here, the momos, there was a lot of uh, uh, chili um, like peppers be on the table so you can put them on there so people must like it uh, slightly spicy here mm -mm -mm. We're getting down to our last and final bites here mm. I see why they give you the paper because it falls apart at the end Oh, we don't want to lose that last. Oh, no. That last bite's the best bite. You got all the flavors infused. Last one, my friends. Mm -hmm. oh, we've even got some napkins right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was exactly what I needed. Now we've got just a little bit of coffee left here. We're gonna finish off. Ah, fantastic. Fantastic. Daniavad bai. Very tasty. Delicious. Very delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll set this right up here. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Goodbye. See you. Guys, feeling fantastic after that. Got a nice full belly. I mean, that thing was huge. You gotta have a proper appetite first thing in the morning to be able to finish off one of those. And now I've got a nice spice aftertaste in my mouth and another hour, I'd say, of walking. So let's head on over this way. It's possible we might get on a motorbike or a taxi if it looks like a fun time, but right now I'm enjoying walking over. It looks like at this hour things get a bit busier now that uh, the city is starting to wake up. Namaste, bye. And I want to say we're going to cross over this way and that's going to bring us over towards the temple. But I don't know how to cross this street, so I guess we got to figure out how to get across. I'm guessing not yet. Oh, uh, we've got our man right there leading the traffic across the street. Not one of those streets where I think you can just go ahead and walk right across. Maybe though. I'm trying to see if I can follow some locals. Uh, this guy knows what, what he's doing. He's walking straight through traffic. It's been a while since I did this. Uh, that's how we do it, bye. Yeah, thank Wait you very up. much. Oh no, I got it. Thank you though, brother. I was following your lead. Nice people, he's gonna help me get across. All right, and here we go. Success, we have made it across. Guys, it looks like we're passing the museum this way. I took the camera, I turned the camera off for the last like three blocks because I don't know, there must've been some sort of like military zone that said no photos on the wall. So didn't wanna accidentally film the wrong thing. But yeah, we've got uh, I think another 40 minutes down this way. 
a little quieter on this side of town here a lot of like gated in buildings and uh some of the shops aren't yet open so guys we got about 45 minutes left already put down 20 minutes plus 15 so we're looking at almost 30 minutes of walking plus the breakfast stop and uh we're still yeah far away honestly i thought we were gonna get there a little quicker so i'm thinking we might have to change things up hop in a taxi here pretty soon but uh the walk's pretty nice i will say i haven't uh haven't skipped out on anything for you it's just been a lot of like uh, residential streets cruising through here seeing what like daily life is like just more like the local grind in the neighborhoods in this area and as you can see you know everyone's kind of getting their uh friday work done before the weekend begins here in Kathmandu. namaste bye very friendly people you say hi to anyone everyone smiles back gives you a nice big namaste uh, back to you so it's uh you feel very welcome in this country we are crossing over a nice river right here there's just so many power lines when you look straight out you see like a hundred of them but uh it's cool to see you can actually see the mountains finally in the distance now that there's not too many buildings covering it up oh all right guys we're making progress let's say we got a generator type of motorbike right here and it looks like some sort of nitrogen tank being rolled down the road here that's uh, one way to move it around uh, don't let it go too fast brother hello brother namaste <laughs> only in nepal my friends you'll see a uh oh. wow that is a tractor with a generator on the front in order to make it go very impressive custom made it looks like And if you're wondering why I walk places even when it's really far, that's why. It's enjoyable just to see how people live life. Even when you're out of breath like I am. But, uh, well, if I was trekking, it'd at least be getting me, uh, getting me in shape for it. Guys, it seems like we're getting close. We're like uh, 29 minutes away from the stupa. And we're back in the another marketplace that I haven't been in yet. It seems like there's a lot of winter clothes in this area. So many things to check out. Might have to do this on the way back from the uh, temple or from the stupa. So it looks like we're starting to get into the busy side in Nepal. It's so busy here, they've actually created a bridge right across. So we're going to get across the safe way. Follow the locals up here. Oh, it's a busy bridge too. Hello, brother. Wow. Look at this, the busyness of Kathmandu right here. Multi-lane, people coming from every direction. Pretty fascinating to watch how it all works. Oh, someone's busted by the police. It must be uh, pretty complex for the uh, police to manage the amount of lanes that are coming. And they've got one, two, three, three police that I can see keeping the uh, traffic going. I mean, they've all got to be in sync. Human stoplights right there. And then we got another couple of uh, police down there watching over. Oh, battery died there, guys. We're back at it, though. We've got like 22 minutes left. And this must be Market Central over here because there are gold shops, more clothes shops, and it's probably not easy to be an electrician here. I think it's about time to stop for a little water here. Let's see if they've got water here. Do you have water? Water? Yeah, can I have one water, please? Can I do that for the ready now? Namaste, bye. Namaste. Uh, Kitna? 25. Thank you. Daniyabad. <laughs> Guys, much needed water. And as always, you can check to make sure that uh, you get the plastic wrap on there. Oh, yeah. You can make sure the lid breaks. Oh, that's a good sign. And then slam this thing. Oh, 
mushy you guys after, what was that, 45, 50 minutes of walking already? No, 60 minutes, because I'm 19 minutes away. And it was an hour and 19 minutes when I left Tamo. Wow. Is this uh, garbage? Danny Bud. Oh, we're back in business. Much, much better now that we're hydrated. Oh, it's like a new wind of energy, I'll tell you. Guys, we have finally located the Budhanath Stupa. We gotta figure out how to get across here because you can't just walk right here, nor would it be easy. So we're gonna see where all the locals are walking past. It seems like there's a walkway right there. So let's find our way across. And just gotta sneak across it looks like. Hello. And we'll follow the locals lead and let's see if we can get through here. Right, thank you. Alright, well we got a bit of a traffic jam here. Looks like everyone's going to the stupa today. Alright, successfully made it across. And I believe the entrance is gonna be right up here. Lots and lots of people here on a Friday. I'm sure it gets even busier on Saturdays too. Saturdays and Sundays. Look at this, nice and crowded in here. We've got shops right when you walk in. Looks like we gotta pay to get in right here. Hello, namaste. Uh, Kitna? Uh, how much? 400. All right, 400. A change for 1,000? So it looks like uh, if you're from one of the SARC countries, it's 100, 400 for uh, people outside of there. And Dani Avad. Oh wow, it seems like, like groups of people will come in at a time because now all of a sudden it just got nice and clear. Might be a good time to get a photo. So this is the ticket they give you when you come in. And oh, hello my friend. For one week. One week? Yeah, and with the ticket you can go to see the monks praying in the monastery. They are praying at like uh, half past one o'clock. It uh -huh. brings you good luck, make your life peaceful, gives oh, wow. you good energy. Also you can go to the peace park where Buddha used to take a shower. It's to clean our mistakes and sins. Yeah? Oh, that's where incredible. Where are you from? Sir? I'm from the US. Oh, I do have my friend in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, from very nice. States. I'm from uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. You have uh, like a two Washington, Washington DC, Washington uh, State. Yeah? Uh, yes. DC stands for District of Columbia. Yeah? Uh, yes, I live there too. Yeah. yeah? yeah. 50 stars represent 50 uh, like states of United States. Uh, yeah? Yeah. 13 stripes represent 13 original colonized countries by England. Yeah? I'm, I'm hoping that after I leave Nepal, I'll know as much about Nepal yeah. as you know about yeah, the yeah, US. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah, are, yeah. You, you, the last state is Alaska. Uh, Alaska is one of the biggest. Uh, or Hawaii. Alaska is the last state, I think. Oh, yeah. he knows his geography better than I do. Because, sure. sure, I do work here as a guide here. Oh, okay. I have been guiding here since 15 years. Even I have okay, guided the so people from Ethiopia. Uh, Ethiopia. Yeah. All over the world yeah. then. No, That's no, very yeah. nice. I, 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 okay. Well, I, do, I speak only Nepali. Nepali. Okay, yeah, you speak Indian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Nepali, Tapaiko. Tapaiko. Namkeho. Namkeho. Yeah, Tapaiko, so Namkeho. My name is Bhupen. Bhupen. Bhupen yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to, my I, name is Mac. And I have been here guiding since 15 years. Yeah. Oh, I will very make nice. you the tour for like one hour. Oh. Within one hour, I will take you to the monk's praying place. You can make a nice picture of the monks, four years old monks. I will mm. take you to the monk's school, how they study, and the peace park. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to uh, do a quick search around and maybe I'm going to find you then, yeah? No, no, sir. No. Maybe I'll later, find you in just no, no. a few minutes, yeah? Later, everything going to be closed. Oh, okay. Because first you can have a guide and later you can have your own time. Because with the guide, you can know where you are allowed to go inside. Right, maybe I'll you find you in just a little bit, brother. Because okay. I'm going to do a quick little... Uh, I will be here, yeah? All right, brother. Nice Thank thing. you so much. Okay. Daniavad. All right. Wow. This is it right here. Incredible. It's like a city with inside of a city here. That is incredible. Namaste. All right, we've got lots of gift shops surrounding this place. Probably inside here you're going to pay a bit more just because of uh, the proximity to the beautiful stupa right here. But you can find a little bit of everything it looks like. 
Some very nice uh, paintings over here. Look at that. Wow. Very beautiful. Look at this. All the way around it, you have so many bright flags and colors. And then the very top of it up there is like gold plated almost with a face up top right there. All right, so I wonder if there's an entrance to go inside anywhere around here if it's just walking outside. I might go back and find our guide in just a little bit, but I wanted to uh, cruise around and get a feel for the area first. Wow, and look at this. Right over here, there's a huge bell right in front of it. And it's got like a bunch of writing on the bell. Let's get a little bit closer so we can see that. Oh! Wow, and the pigeons are flying away. Looks like we arrived right at the right time. Well, look at this. The entire bell has uh, writing all up and down it. You wonder how long something like that would take to build. Or to not build, but uh, basically sculpt or weld. A lot of dogs hanging out by here. And this must be the uh, pigeon park. Probably find somewhere we can buy some feed. Hello, namaste. Hello, namaste. 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 You're from Kathmandu? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a very nice city. Uh, from the US. Oh, US. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome in our Nepal. Thank you so much, Daniavad. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Right, so we gotta find where we can get some uh, pigeon feed right here. Uh, hello. Uh, how much? XO, 100. 100? Yeah. Alright, so we got 100 for the uh, feed there. Oh, that, oh, I gave her 500, yeah. Nope, 100. Thank you, Danibod. I'll take the big one. Which one's the good one? This one? Danivad? Alright, let's see if we can uh, hook these... Uh... Whoa! Alright, let's see who's hungry. Oh, whoa, this guy's got one in his hand. Oh, ho, ho. how does he catch him? Who wants to eat here? Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm! I got the good stuff right here. Who's hungry? How do you hold it? Oh! Yeah, let's see. This guy catches pigeons every day. No, no, no. I'm first time coming. First time. Oh wow. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. Yeah. Namaste, my friend. All right. We. Name? My name is Mac. Mac. What's your name? Fosanta. Fosanta. Nice to meet you, Fosanta. All right, we've got food for everyone. Whoa, oh wow, look at this. They all, they all jump in the air when you toss it up in the air. All right, we've got food for everybody. Wow. Yeah, that guy picked it right up. I was like, wow, how do you do that? I don't think I want to try that though. I don't know if they'll like being picked up. Mmm. Oh, oh they're just jumping in on it. Scared, we got the good stuff. You want some? Oh. Whoa. Mmm. The good feed. Jeez, there's gotta be how many do you think there's they're here? Probably like 2,000, 3,000 of them. Oh, mmm. Yum yum yum. Oh yeah. Got plenty for you all. Don't fight over it. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at how many there are there. There's enough for everybody here. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> They're jumping on each other to get it. They know this is the spot to come find the uh, the good stuff. And we got them jumping on the feet even. Mm. All right, all right, that's all we got. We're all out. Daniavad. Thank you. 
Oh, that was cool. You get a lot of feed there. And the uh, pigeons are feeling full, I can tell you that, after the amount of buckets that are being tossed out there per day. And look at that, even up on top of there, the pigeons are just hanging out. They must basically feed here, get a bunch of chow, get some water there, and then they go right up on top of the temple and just kind of hang out over there. So it looks like as you're walking around this place, you can go like this to spin them. See that? Keep her spinning. Oh, and it's on, it must be on like some sort of like bearing. Oh, it's very nice, yeah. From the US? From US, yes. Oh, thank you so much. What do you do here? Uh, YouTuber. YouTuber, very good, right? Yeah, thank you so much, brother. Uh, so this means uh, good luck? Yeah, for the compassion, good luck, you know. And how many times do you do it when you go around? Normally once, you go once and even you can go three or seven, you know. And are you supposed to touch every single one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Every... Uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, the wheel has written the holy mantra, Om Mani That means, may peace rest in your soul. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. How many times have you walked around today? No, I have, I'm a tour guide. I have a group. No, I, oh, okay. I, I came here with a group. Oh, very nice. Now, very nice. Give, I have given them free time. Oh, very nice. I'm going to meet them in, in trance. Oh, that's great. Okay. And what's your name? Kidar. Nice to meet you. Kidar. Mac. Nice to meet you too. So, Pleasure where, to meet you. So where do you stay? Here. Uh, I'm staying over in Tamil. Yeah, so we live in yeah, Nepal. Okay. Yeah. So have a great time in Nepal. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, yeah. See you. Danivad. That was really nice of him. He uh, gave us a quick little uh, understanding. So you walk around, you can go as many times as you want and it brings peace to your soul. That's really uh, amazing. There are so many of them. Each one of these um, little slots inside of here are hold about four of them, it looks like. Well, this one's got five. So it seems like this one's got five as well. So I think some of them are five, some of them are four. And you just go around and spin. Oh, these ones seem a little smaller than the last. And you gotta reach in further. Wow, in this entire area all the way around, there's shops, looks like there's even restaurants up top. Oh, and there's an extra big one right here. Oh. So it looks like the process right here is uh, touch the flowers and then um, go up to the door. And give it a spin right there. We'll try giving the big one a spin. Oh, that's a heavy one. You really have to spin that thing pretty strong. Okay, so. Yeah, my friend, now you finished one round. Oh, there he is. Now you can oh, it's already been one round. Yeah. And we're can, back. Yeah, yeah. Now I will explain you about this place. You can record my video also. I can take you to the Monk Spring place and the Peace Park. Okay? Oh, that's so you know all the good places. Yeah, all the good places. Yeah. And how much do you charge? Because your happiness is my satisfaction. Yeah? Oh, you, you you're like, a good man. <laughs> you look like a student, yeah? Uh, not a student, you but I'm a, I'm a student of life. Oh, you student Every of day life. I learn. Oh, mm -hmm. you have a nice philosophy. Normally, people they pay us like a two thousand rupees for one and a half hour. You can pay me as a risk, okay? Oh, okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna keep walking just for a little bit longer. Okay, because there are brother. many fish to see. Sir. Oh. I make you very happy. My every friends are guiding and I am the last guy remaining for you. Donnie it's a good idea when you take me because I will show you this place. Donnie Bad, brother. I will take you to the monastery. Oh, yes, it's I've, the oldest I've been. One. No, not here. It's outside. 10 minutes walking. Oh, oh, to the okay. Peace Park. Very beautiful. Mm. Yeah, Mother of Buddha. Yeah. Oh, that's very if nice. It, if it's expensive, just pay 1,000 rupees. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm going to walk a little bit longer than maybe. Maybe, yeah? Oh. I might see you in a bit. Donny Abad. I can't believe I already walked an entire uh, lap around here. It goes by fast when you're uh, spinning, talking to people, feeding the birds. But, uh, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. I wonder if there's any uh, souvenirs we want to pick up in, in these spots. I'm just curious of what the prices are. Some really cool stuff. If I had more room in the suitcase, I would love to grab uh, one of the items and bigger items that I could put on the uh, shelf back at the apartment. Oh, stupa handicraft. 
Mm. Namaste bye. I'm looking for a uh, a nice bracelet. Okay. Uh, do you recommend uh, any specific ones? Oh, okay, very nice. Oh, that that is a very nice one. Oh, more inside, yeah. All right. We've got a, a white one too. It almost looks like the world. Oh, maybe that's the one I want then, yeah. How much uh, are you charging for these ones? Uh, this four hundred fifty. Four fifty, all right. Well, what about the uh, four fifty? Is a little more than I was hoping to pay. Because the uh, guy outside was selling it for one fifty. Oh, this is glass one. I have glass one. Like this. Like this. Uh, this is glass. No, no. This is stone. How light is stone? Stone. Okay. How light is stone? You know how light. Okay. What What's the best price you can give me on this one, brother? Four hundred. Four hundred. We can We can walk away with around three hundred. Three fifty. 300 final offer, brother. How many pieces you need? Just uh, one, one to start. Okay. 300. No, this time, right? Uh, I think I'm just gonna do one to start out, brother. And what's your name? Deepcha. Deepcha. It's nice to meet you, Deepcha. My name's Mac. Oh, thank you, sir. There's 300 for you, brother. Yes. And from? Uh, I'm from uh, United States. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Namaste and Daniwad bye. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank and you. can you help me? Uh, how does this thing go on my wrist? Okay. Like this. Oh, so, oh, oh, it's that easy. <laughs> and then it slides right on there. Yes. And we can add that to the collection. Yeah. And uh, you can do it small. Oh, okay. Very nice. And this one brings good luck? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is for peace. Did you? Mind. Peace mind. Peace mind and everything. I love that. Did you make this? Uh, yes, I made it. Oh, you make it. How long does it take to make one? Uh, it's like uh, two, three minutes. Two or three minutes. Wow. Very nice. Well, thank you, brother. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Goodbye. So, guys, we got a nice new uh, bracelet here. It's going to bring us peace. Uh, what? Oh, ooh. We got rings? Hey, you know, good observation. I do like rings. Yeah. I need a nice Nepalese ring. Yeah, this is all Nepalese. Oh, good. Okay. Do you have something kind of similar to what I have? Plain one. Similar? No. Mm. Similar only like this. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that is a nice quality. This one looks a bit more like a wedding ring, though. <laughs> mm. You don't want to design one? Uh, those aren't nice. Uh, are these, uh, these are men's rings? Yeah, men's. Okay. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, wow. That's a nice looking dragon right there. Oh, an eagle, yeah? So you wear that one like on the finger like this? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is nice. Wow, all right. That is uh, majestic. What price I give you? Uh, you know, brother, I don't know if that's as much uh, gonna fit on my finger very well. Can we get present? Maybe <clears throat> Eric also has. Mm. We'll take a look. But, uh, I might come back. Danny Bad bye. Thank you. Oh maybe in a bit, brother. So guys we got the uh, the bracelet for three hundred, which is two dollars and twenty nine cents, so three hundred rupees. I'd say it's a pretty good price and you know, especially buying it inside the uh, like area where the stupa is. Obviously you'll pay slightly more. Could have gotten it for like half the price outside of it. But uh, you know, guy was a nice guy and uh, was willing to negotiate for a good price, so. Checking to see if there's anything else to uh, get while we're over here. Can I enter here, brother? Can I enter? Oh, uh, this way? Oh, uh, this way. Sorry, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. We're going the wrong way here, guys. Mm -hmm. There we go. And let's uh, let's try entering this one. Wow. Oh, only enter here, yeah. Wow, this is the biggest one in here. Oh, wow. 
Wow. This is heavy. Beautiful in here though. Twice? Oh, okay. So we go through here twice. All right. So we got a nice uh, introduction from our uh, guide there. And here, I think this is, uh, oh wow. This is another huge one. Wow. And then one right here on the way out. And this brings us, it looks like, a few staircases up. And they have all of these incredible murals on the wall. Very beautiful. Namaste. Hmm? Good looking at Oh, it's very nice of you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you guys. Welcome. So this is the best place to uh, see the stupa, yeah? Yeah guys, you can see amazing views all around this area when you go up to the second floor uh, or second or third floor right here. We've got some nice friends from Kathmandu. Yeah. All right, well, I think we're gonna continue with today's tour and uh, head on to the next spot. Danivad, my friends. Namaste, see you next time. <laughs> the guy came up to me right when I was uh, about to start filming and was telling me I'm handsome in the middle of it. I was like, oh, no thank you, brother. Seems like there's a whole other marketplace down here. Namaste. Oh, wow, these look nice. It's pretty nice quality fur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the nice part is if you come to Nepal without a jacket, you won't have a problem finding one. Especially here in November, everyone's uh, selling lots and lots of nice jackets here. Uh, it's very peaceful in these marketplaces, though. Oh, and it stretches way, way down there. This place can be a bit of a maze to try and figure out which way to go next. Uh, so it's a secret entrance. Uh, Danivad by. This, this good. Right through here. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, I was following the GPS and then I hit a gate. Luckily, the security guard was nice enough to uh, help me get over there. And I think it's just right through this gate, and we're there. Buddha Park. So I think somewhere right down this way is where we're gonna find it. Let's see if we're going the right way. Oh, nope, seems like we're going the wrong way. Probably right up here and to the left. So many markets lining the streets here. This looks like it is the entrance in. Is this Buddha Park? Is this Buddha Park? Buddha Park? Yeah. Danny about it. Oh, okay. Oh my, look at this place. When you walk in, you have flowers everywhere. And it smells really nice. Oh, look, there's a no TikTok sign. No TikTok. Huh. I wonder why that is. Drop a comment below if you know what a no TikTok sign is for. Look at this, guys, going all the way around. Such a beautiful place. So it looks like there's two main uh, ponds right here, and it's surrounding. Hello, namaste. Namaste. How are you? Good, and you? Oh, looks like there's even some fish down in there as well, swimming around. Wow, this is so cool. Beautifully designed. And no kissing here either. Wow. So they have pretty much the entire perimeter. Anywhere you can walk, there's uh, flowers lining all of it. 
Yeah, it smells really nice right here in the middle of the city. We guys, a really peaceful ending to it to see Buddha Park here. And as you can see, just since I arrived here, it got super busy. It seems like all the school kids are coming here and um, walking around and practicing the religion. So that is Buddha Park, guys. A nice little stop in here. So guys, I think that's where we're gonna go ahead and end today's video. Really hope you've enjoyed coming with us to have a nice little breakfast this morning and then make our way for a nice hour and 20 minute walking journey over to the Supa and then Buddha Park. So really a beautiful area. Just to stroll the streets, talk to the locals, try out some foods. I mean, you got street carts, food coming from everywhere. So uh, really enjoyed today's video and hope you guys did as well. And we will see you in the next one.